right guys we are now on the way to the airport i wanted to do a full day of eating today like travel version of like how i'm doing it now two weeks out during travel and i forgot it this morning so i can just tell you i had like 60 grams of whey that is it and half of a banana just because i don't want to waste it like i had one half like 70 grams in my final meal yesterday and then had like 70 grams this morning now i'm having yeah monster ultra and i also track this stuff in like that's only like seven calories but like very deep into prep i track like vegetables i track my zero calorie drinks i track yeah everything because it can yeah easily accumulate like when you have like those like 10 calorie diet drinks let's say you have like something else with like 10 like like zero like it can accumulate to like 50 to 100 a day easily and then on top if you don't track your vegetables it can be 200 on top so i would recommend tracking honestly everything and oh that is too stressful or it's not an excuse i think it's like a five second ten second thing of just tracking it in i see it as a game i'm just like do, 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 do. I track it in and and that is basically it so yeah now on my way to singapore and tomorrow i have the seminar so it might be a two-part vlog version we're going to see so today it's a kind of like yeah show you a little of singapore and full day reading how i'm doing it during travel so yeah when it comes to that like lots of experience flexible dieting i'm like sticking to the basics i have like packs of whey with me i have some protein bars i have some some cereal some 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 hairy bows and that is mostly it and the rest i will just get there so by just having a basic understanding of like protein carbs fats you can basically mostly yeah survive every everywhere and the only thing i prepare in a way is like just to be safe it's like having some whey with me and some protein bars so i just eat my protein because carbs and fats you're going to find everywhere every supermarket with ease and i have my food scale with me i have my body weight scale with me also important like the food scale always like bring that with me and yeah that is it so now heading to the airport and i will catch you later guys guys hope you can hear me that guys next to me been sleeping so i don't want to talk so i had two protein bars the green egg ones they are amazing i really like them and half a pack of rice cakes it's my high day so i have to get the carbs in so yeah very satisfied now good meal and landing in around one hour and then yeah we'll probably check out singapore today we'll see <laughs> Alright guys, that is my meal on the go. So toast. I have some like pre-made chicken from 7-Eleven, like two of those. Pineapple, 100 grams of guava and 150 I think mango. So everything weighted down with this one. And that's how it goes. Like I go with like just like toast. I still have some protein bars, like some wheezies over there. And that's how I do it during travel. So usually like how I go about is like usually just fruit, like protein sauce, like like chicken pre-made one, just toast. I still have some rice cakes and that is it. Super simple. So this meal and then I have another like six, seven hundred ish calories. And, and from there we go, guys. The main thing what I love about prep or like being hungry, like for me, that's why I like a prep is usually always easier for me than a gaining phase because I rather be super hungry instead of like always full. I can't enjoy food. I get sick after eating. Much worse for me from a nutrition perspective. So what I really enjoy doing prep is like I had like some plain toast with the chicken, like here the fruits and everything tastes good. Like that is why it's it's so easy to travel also during the prep. I feel because. All you have to find is like some basic food, like toast or like some chicken slices, some like something like that, and it will just taste amazing. Like that is one of the cool things as well, what I really enjoy during a prep. So yeah, only thing I might should get next time is some plates. So I just have those yeah tissues here now. And maybe like that's actually for the coffee, but I try to eat it like that. So maybe also like some some fork next time <laughs> so now i know for like dubai and yeah like amazing meal like this one's getting down like i would i focus more on like higher carbs on my wifi days so less fat a little bit i have a little more fat on my low days actually just because like having a little more fat makes me feel better in a way right because when we go too 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 low fat 
it, it messes a little up with like we become a little weird in a way like inside of us <laughs> like a lot of things like get messed up and yeah but on the high days i try to keep the fat where i have it roughly as i have it on the low days like 40 to 50 and focus more on so just putting the carbs up and keeping the fats where i have them on the low days or even a slight bit lower than that so yeah like like my main tips when it comes to like again to traveling is like, like being a little prepared in advance so what i packed me again was like like a protein powder some rice cake some things like like some carbs some protein that's all usually and then when you're at the spot like checking out this close by supermarkets and just buying the stuff there and then bringing like here like the food scale that is important then you usually like yeah like pretty much sorted and then i try to replicate the stuff more or less what i eat back like at home so with the food with like those things but like just having a basic understanding of like protein and, and carbs you can usually pick something what is a yeah what is a smart option but again experience plays a big role so the less experienced you are the more you should be prepared the more you should maybe even do some sort of meal prep boxes and so on because it can be overwhelming and then it might end up in like a binge whatever it is if you're not experienced enough but when you have a good like amount of like experience knowing how to track what foods work for you, you can just crap it like once, once you're there and have it like in your backpack a little bit before, before that. So those are like my main tips when it comes to like, to like traveling. And if you're like in off season, it doesn't need to be like, like, like there, I would eat out at a restaurant and just estimate the stuff usually because when I travel, I want to enjoy it also a little bit, but now during the prep, I'm like, kind of like, Hey, everything I need to needs to be somewhat calculated. Right well, guys, and that's the final meal of the day. Some Nim2 Smile Gummies, big bananas, two bananas, and another protein bar. So that is a full day of eating, travel version, two weeks out. And <clears throat> yeah, hope you could take something from it. Like, like, like that's my way how I like to do it. It might be a little too, too flexible for some people. Like some people want to be more prepared and it's depending, highly depending as well on like, yeah, like 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 let's say if you are you your calories are much lower than that. Like today I am having a high day. Would I be wanting low days? I would probably do something similar, but imagine you're at like thousand four or five hundred calories, there you should be and it's also easier to be more prepared because you just don't have as much food anyway. So then it makes sense to prepare like some vegetables, things like that. But yeah, and also highly depending where you when I'm very, very when I'm digging then I'm also like preparing some vegetables, things like that. But right now it's still like quite easy. So this means like I can do it more like that. So when I'm digging, I would recommend more something of like, yeah, some sort of like real meal prep of like prepping your meal, putting it in boxes. That is usually the best. And, but even then like, like, like things like just, yeah, like, like sticking to like things like toast or chicken, like things that you enjoy, but maybe being a little more prepared of like but even then like for me it's like yeah i even like i like to have just like, like protein powder cereal things like that for like also for the shows like that's how it works the best for me and yeah just to give you some insights leaving it here guys and see you in the next one and before i forget i almost forgot i still have like that half pack of rice cakes i already tracked it in so i almost forgot about that so that will be the final part see you in the next one